so I'm watching the trailers for Logan and thinking, well, this looks pretty cool. A Western influenced R-rated Wolverine story that's poised to be Hugh Jackman's last outing as the Marvelous Mutant, I'm down. And then all of a sudden, bang, who is this little girl that's kicking ass like it's nothing? And did she just decapitate some guy? Is that a dude's head? Well, as soon as those two claws popped out of her fist, it was clear that Logan would be giving X-23, AKA Laura Kinney, her big screen debut. But I know what some of you are thinking, who the hell is X-23? Well, as far as the comics continuity, she's a clone of Logan himself. It's an attempt to replicate the Weapon X project that gave birth to Wolverine. You remember that, shirtless Hugh Jackman in a big tank of water. Uh, anyways, she starts out life as a hired assassin, but eventually finds her way to the Xavier Institute and her sorta of kinda of Papa Logan but not before killing her mother, Sarah, thanks to a trigger scent that sends her into a berserker rage. So sad. Well, after the death of Wolverine, oh, spoilers for the death of Wolverine, X-23 took over the familiar yellow and blue mantle and is currently doing her DNA dad proud, but, but what does this mean for her movie counterpart? Well, for starters, it's possible that she could do the same thing and become the new cinematic Wolverine, and that would be awesome. Since she's being introduced in an R-rated film, there's no reason she couldn't go on to be in other R-rated features. It'd be nice to see a young woman being as badass as her, hell, even more badass than any male action star. We almost got that with Hit Girl in the Kick-Ass films, and then... Game on, Yeah, moving on. There's also an opportunity to do some darker storylines that Hugh Jackman's Logan never really got the chance to indulge in. X-23's past as an assassin could give us some enemies out for vengeance. That is always tons of fun. I mean, look, let's be honest. Old Logan never really had the best rogues gallery to go up against. I'm the big robot samurai. Oh, I'm the worst possible version of Deadpool you could imagine. Giving X-23 a real big baddie would go a long way in establishing her as a fearsome hero in her own right. And from what I've seen, her action scenes are the most exciting in any Wolverine film to date. If we could get Logan director James Mangold or another great action director behind the camera, there's the potential for her to showcase some of the best fight sequences in any X-Men film. Look, to me, X-23 is gonna be the breakout star of Logan. And if she is, she could very well be on her way to becoming a better Wolverine than Wolverine ever was. But we will find out when Logan hits theaters on March 3rd.